Hi, my name is Kelly T. Smith, and today we're going to be doing a reading using the self-sabotage spread in the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle Cards deck. So we're really going to be working with this deck to work through and understand any hidden elements that keep us from moving forward. So I'm super excited to be doing a reading for you today, but you can also follow along with me. Use any deck that you have. It doesn't have to be this one. And you can draw cards for yourself as we go along, or you can also just watch the video and receive the messages as I pull the cards. Let's get started. Before you prepare to do your reading, you just want to make sure that you connect in with the cards, you connect in with yourself, and you center yourself. Have an intention about what you want to learn, know, or understand. These oracle cards are really about helping you to clear energy from within you to access guidance from your inner self and from your spiritual helpers. And usually it's going to give you messages that you've already been getting, n nudges that you've been experiencing, but you didn't even really recognize them as messages. So once you connect in and center, then it's time for you to shuffle your cards and then you're going to begin drawing your cards. One of the things about the self-sabotage reading is that we're going to be looking a lot at the resistance that we have. So it's like we know what our desires are. We know what we want to accomplish. We know the kind of life we want to have, but we don't allow ourselves to because we have so much resistance. That resistance is also inner conflict. So when we look at the resistance within us, we can free up the energy so we can begin to manifest that. So we can begin to tap into our inner compass. So we can begin to free up that energy and then allow it to radiate out into the universe so that we can become a vibrational match. We're going to go ahead and look at the first card now. So the limiting belief or the situation that we are dealing with right now when it comes to moving forward and looking at our self-sabotage is the parting ways card and spirit is actually showing us that what that means is that we know it's time to leave a certain situation we know it's time to let go of old outworn outdated beliefs ways of being environments that no longer support us we're feeling this desire for immense change but we are holding on to everything that we know because we're not allowing ourselves to have faith we're not allowing ourselves to believe that it's possible that we'll be safe if we let go if we explore something new and this could be relationships this could be jobs but spirit is really just showing us that right now where we are is we are at a place where we are at a crossroads and we we are holding on and when you hold on and you hold on really tight to what is right now and you don't let go then you stay stuck and you become in limbo so to speak so we need to really look at the energy of what we're holding on to and why. So Spirit is coming through and saying, let go of something, something that no longer serves you, something that is not healthy for you. And trust that when you do, you're going to be able to, that things are going to be okay. Things are not only going to be okay, you're going to be safe and exciting things are going to happen for you. But what I like is that the second card that we drew, which is where you want to be, is the new door. So the energy of this card talks about when you let go of relationships and situations and things from the past that no longer serve you, when we finally make peace with something, we clear the energy. So Spirit is saying, what do you need to make peace with? You know, even if you have a situation where you're not in contact with someone or you have left a job, you could still be, or you've left a situation that wasn't healthy for you, you could still be holding on to the energy of that. You could still have not purposely and consciously and with int great intention closed the energetic door. I find it so fascinating that when we don't, when we've let go of something, but we haven't made peace with it within ourselves, things still don't change. So make peace with something within yourself so that you can clear up the energy so that it can begin to flow naturally toward the things that you want to happen, towards the things that you're moving forward toward. And the third card is the obstacle card. 
And for the obstacle, we drew the Seeker of Truth card. And again, this is your intuition has been telling you something that you're not allowing yourself to listen to. So we are, Spirit is guiding us back into our heart, back into our inner compass. When something feels off, it's off. When, But you don't need to know all the details, so to speak. You just need to trust that something isn't right or something isn't healthy for you or something isn't working. So... This card, Spirit is also telling us that one of your obstacles is that you're not listening to your intuition. You're not, you will get the messages of what to do and what, what it's time to heal or let go of, but you don't allow yourself to believe in that. Just sitting with the ener energy of something, just asking the right questions is going to move you in the right direction. It's going to help bring forward the kind of those shadow aspects of yourself that you might have been pushing deep, deep down within you. So come into this awareness when we bring things into awareness and we allow ourselves to see things for what they are showing us they are. That's another message that's coming forward. Loss of relationship healing and relationships could be a huge part of what holds you back. Either the need to people please or the fear that if you make a decision that's for your highest and best good, that it's going to cause other people to see you in a different light. It's going to make other people see you in a way that doesn't make you feel good. But the truth is that any kind of spiritual growth or growth in general, for that matter, you are going to get reactions from people around you that are not always going to feel good. So learning to be able to let go of that, let go of the attachment of how other people are going to perceive you. When you take this next step forward, this very big push or desire within you to make a huge change, but also to do something, to share something, either a gift or to embark on a new journey that could obviously be very scary. Spirit's saying have unwavering faith because as you have unwavering faith, there's this sense of safety within you, the safety net and that safety net begins to carry you and bring forward everything that you're working toward happening. And then the fourth card, it, whoa, so Spirit is talking to a lot of entrepreneurs right now. Um, the fourth card is entrepreneur. So this is a change you need to make. So really Spirit's talking about, you know, um, change in direction could be have to do with career. It could be that you have a hobby, but starting a hobby, taking that hobby and turning into something that is going to make a difference in the world. There's something that you have to give. There's something that you have to share. So you might be kind of on the fence with career changes and new directions, but Spirit is just saying that that you there will be an opportunity for you to do something related to entrepreneur. And although that might be a huge leap for you, it's very, very positive for you and it could also be something you've been wanting to do and if you're already doing that it's another level of expanding it's a new cycle for you it's a new um stepping into the next level of that and trusting uh, another message is that you might want to be give up you might feel like it's not working out for you that you know that you're not getting any momentum you're not getting nothing is happening everything is at a standstill and again that has to do with the resistance within you that has to do with the inner conflict because when we do the inner work when we get absolutely clear when we make peace with the past when we go within and resolve and release any inner conflict that is when we will see movement happen because whatever your dominant energy is, is what comes back to you. And it's really amazing how that works, but it's true. And the more in tune you are with your inner compass and the more in tune you are with the energy that you're radiating, you're going to get immediate feedback that that's true. And so the final card is really the outcome. So we're looking at the outcome that has to do with um, what is your, your, your potential when you finally let go of your resistance, when you do the inner work and when you allow yourself to step into the next level of whatever it is that uh, spirit is calling you to do, what is your highest potential? And we got the creative projects. So again, this message is really for people right now who are listening, who are being guided to create, 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 share, 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 trust that you are good enough, trust that you are worthy, you know, meditate on 
where your resistance is, what your perception is about whether or not you're good enough and whether or not what you have is is different enough. Spirit saying that you might think, oh, well, someone's already done that. Someone's already tried that. Everyone is doing that. Why do I need to do it? Nobody's going to care. That's not true. Your energy is unique and it's going to be the energy that is going to connect with other people that have like energy. So what it is you're working on is divinely inspired and it's also needed. This is the creative projects card. It speaks to writers. It speaks to authors. It speaks to creatives. It also speaks to entrepreneurs. There could be it could be a podcast. It could be um, something beautiful that you, you could be an artist even. So really with this self-sabotage reading today, Spirit is helping us let go of the past. And in other words, if in the past you have tried to do the thing that you are wanting to do right now and you have failed, we are just asking for to help you clear the energy of that and trust that it is time Whatever it is you do right now, when you do it with complete faith, it is going to be different than the last time. And don't think of the last time that you tried something as you failed. You didn't. You were gathering information. You were learning something. You were evolving. You have to remember that you have shifted and grown so much. Then you needed that experience to be able to embark on the journey in a new way, the journey that's getting ready to present itself to you that has to do with trusting um, in your creative abilities to either write a book or do something amazing. Anyways, thank you guys so much for listening. My name is Kelly T. Smith. I'm the author of the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle Cart. I'm also the author of the uh, the Guiding Light Oracle Cart. And if you want to learn more about me, you can find me at www.intuitivelifecoachingwithkelly.com. I have some free classes coming up because I'm really excited. Um, We're doing some celebration events for the intuitive life coaching it's going to be released to the public on november 17th so if you'd like a chance to win a free deck you can come to my facebook page we'll also be doing a giveaway on instagram but you can check me out and come and join us on november 17th at 11 a.m for our giveaway that we're going to be doing as we'll give away one of these decks. Also, I have a few free classes that I'm going to be doing in the next couple of weeks as well. So a lots of different things going on. There's also a blog that goes with this reading that you can find at www.beyondword.com. So thank you all so much for joining me. Again, my name is Kelly T. Smith. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.